Howdy y'all, this is Ethan Bonreal, back with more coming out on top. So, you might be wondering why we are at the Bro Finder screen. Well, the creator of this game actually updated it last night, so Alex's part is going to stay on hold while I finish all the dates that were added. But before I get ahead of myself, today we're actually going to be going on a date with Caesar. So let's click his profile. Well, it's pretty short. Caesar is a party boy, and he wants to have a fiesta. Well, that's pretty neat. I do love parties. Um, not really, actually. I hate parties, but uh, I do love a good reason to pull out the streamers. That is very enjoyable to me. So let's go ahead and message Caesar. You message the mysterious headless torso, trying to think of something witty and charming that will capture his attention. After typing and deleting several dozen possibilities, you give up and settle for, Yeah, I like fiestas! Exclamation point. To your surprise, he messages you back. Hey yo! Uh, hey? So, what do you like about fiestas? Uh, the festivities? Question mark. Lol, you're so weird, XD. Am I? Weird but cute. Wanna come by? Uh, sure. Mind picking up something on your way here? For our fiesta, of course, winky face. Oh my. Am I getting streamers? I really do. I literally do love streamers. Um, what exactly am I picking up? Poppers. Oh, um, like jalapeno poppers? What, what kind do you like? Yeah, I know a place that sells the good shit. The good shit? Question mark. So good it was banned in the 90s? Kind of good. Oh my. Banned? D did they have like extra spicy jalapenos or something? LOL, XD, you should do stand up comedy. Man, this is great. I'm really cracking this guy up. If you can pick them up on the way here, I'd be so grateful. Um, I guess, I guess I will. I mean, I personally don't like jalapeno parties, or poppers, but if he needs them to have a good time, I guess I can help him out. Caesar gives you the address. Should I get some dipping sauce? Dipping sauce, XD. You're so random, lol. Um, thanks? Oh my god, thank you, a true gentleman you are. What the fuck is that emoticon? Holy shit. I'm... Well, I'm glad I could help with the festivities. Haz, oh my god, you're killing me. Okay, bye! Um, you're not sure why Caesar thinks you're a riot, but his compliments feel good, if slightly puzzling. I guess I'm just a natural comedian. Hey, it's Ian's theme. Um, oh. Hey, it's Ian. Uh, whoa, what are you running off to, dude? Well, I'm about to go on a fiesta, and I need to bring some poppers. Aren't you forgetting something? What? Ranch dressing, hello. Ranch doesn't go with poppers. A bottle of ranch will create a good impression. Let them know you're in a good, or you're a good, thoughtful, considerate guest. Well, no. That's like a bottle of wine. I am not bringing a bottle of ranch to a party. Ranch is the thinking man's mayo. Ranch is not the thinking man's anything. It's overused and indiscriminately slapped on top of too many foods. Fine. But when people start throwing punches because there's no dip, don't come crying to me, dude. Ian saunters off. Dot dot dot. What ridiculous advice. Wasn't it? So, I'm gonna be real with y'all. Anytime Ian pops up in anything and he suggests something, just do it. <laughs> um, because it really either makes the situation more interesting, or alternatively, it culminates in you having sex somehow. I don't know why. I don't know why that's his power, but that's just how it works. But, uh, on a serious note, if you say no, this will lock you out of a particular sex ending. Um, or rather, you will not have anal sex. You will still be sexual with this person, but you will not have anal sex with them. So, if you're interested in sex up the butt, you need to take you some dip, or some dressing. Well, I guess it's a little bit of both. And you can figure out how ranch dressing and anal sex go together um, in your mind, but in the meantime, why I listen to Ian, I'll never know.
you peek into the fridge, but don't see any ranch. Damn, I thought we had some. Looking for something, dude? Oh my god, I imagine Ian, like, sitting on the kitchen counter, like, tossing up a bag of ranch dressing. Like, a not a bottle of ranch dressing, but a bag of it while smoking a blunt and laughing at me. Uh, no, I was just, uh... We have some leftover powdered ranch mix in the cabinet. It's in the plastic baggie. What the fuck? I didn't know powdered ranch dressing was a thing. Um, anyway, oh, well, uh... Just add a cup of water once you get to your fiesta. Thanks. You drive to the address Caesar sent you and park your car next to a row of abandoned buildings. This is a little bit spooky. Um, well, we're here, the quaint part of the city, away from the supermarket chains. This must be uh, one heck of a specialty popper shop. I guess he's really particular. The front of the building has no entrance. You decide to check around the side. I guess it's down this dark, deserted alleyway. You quadruple check the address. This is how you know you're getting the real deal. The best, most authentic food is always bought from some little hole in the wall that nobody knows about. Okay, so if you go home, that ends the date, obviously, so we gotta continue down the alleyway. You step forward, almost tripping over a broken beer bottle. Maybe I should message Caesar. It kinda seems like this place is closed. Clenching your fist, you force yourself to approach the door. Oh. You halt when you hear a screech behind the dumpster. You nearly jump out of your shoes. Shit! Your eyes catch a shadow, flitting along the wall, followed by another. It takes you several deep breaths to calm down and realize the shadows were just two mangy cats. Aw, cute. They were just having a booty call. As you ponder the fate of your own booty call, a police car careens around the corner, blasting down the alley with lights flashing and sirens blaring. Um, is it for the cats? Question mark. You freeze as the police car screeches to a halt in front of you, blocking the only way out. A voice erupts from the loudspeaker. Put your hands up and face away from me. Oh shit, I hope this is like the erotic cops on the... Anyway, um, you turn and raise your arms, trying to look as harmless as possible. Oh, hi officer, um... Thank God you're here. I was just looking for this shop, and I, w I was trying to pick up some jalapeno poppers, and... A cop bursts from the vehicle and draws his gun, pointing it at you. Keep those hands in the air. Oh, uh, whoa. Judging by the intensity of his voice, he's not messing around. You raise your arms higher. As he approaches you, gun drawn, you feel like you're going to piss yourself. C can I ask why you're doing this, officer? You're under arrest for attempted possession and... Distribution of a legal strain of alkali nitrate. Nitrate? Nitrate? Yeah, not nitrate. Illegal. Illegal nitrate? I thought I was just trying to pick up some poppers for a fiesta. <laughs> oh my god, super spy, please. Exactly. You know, poppers aren't... I'm pretty sure... I'm 99% sure poppers are not illegal, but I guess there's no federal law. I'm sure Obama doesn't care if you have poppers, but maybe at a state level. Anyway... Wait, you're, you're talking about a different kind of popper, aren't you? You know exactly what kind of popper I'm talking about. He removes his glasses, peering at your face closely. Come on, you seriously thought you were being asked to bring jalapeno poppers to a fiesta? Drop the act, buddy. Nobody's this clueless. Well, this isn't an act. I am this clueless. You turn towards him. Listen, officer. Face the wall with your hands up. You bite your lip and stare at the wall, but not before stealing a glance at the well-built cop. Though he's your height, he seems to be carrying an additional 30 pounds of solid muscle, not to mention a broad chest and a trim waist. So you're Caesar. You're actually a cop and this is a sting? Instead of replying, he proceeds to cuff you. I guess that answers my question. You catch the sight of his bicep as it flexes, the huge arm barely contained by the sleeve of his shirt. So super swag, are you really a college student? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure neither of these options matter, but I personally go with this one. Yes, this is my last semester of college too, I'm about to, I'm about to graduate. 
Too bad you're going to miss graduation. But this is ridiculous. I assumed you meant jalapeno poppers. I thought I was being nice by picking them up for you. Cut the bullshit. This drug has been on the street for months. It's lethal. Look, I may not know much about poppers, but... Since when are poppers of any kind illegal? These poppers happen to be. There's no way I could have known that. Really. And I quote, Shit so good it was banned in the 80s. He actually said 90s. I swear I thought you were talking about the appetizer. Sure you did. And I'm sure you would have bought me a nice big bowl of cereal if I asked you for Special K. That's actually really funny. Um, why wouldn't I? I'm a big cereal fan. He shakes his head in disbelief as he starts frisking you. Positioning himself behind you, stop. Um, he pats down your chest. You feel his fingers poke at your ribcage. <gasps> what? Oh, I'm, I'm actually kind of ticklish there. Dot, dot, dot. I need you to stand still so I can do my job. Don't make any sudden moves. He reaches over and pats the length of your outer pants around your ankles and then moves up to your shins, to your inner thighs. He suddenly touches, touches the lump in your pocket. There's something in your pocket. He reaches in and withdraws the baggie full of ranch mix. This is totally not what it looks like, oh my god. My my, what do we have here? Oh, fuck me, dude. It's... So don't be a smartass, because that gets you sent to jail. You need to just be real with him. It's a bag of ranch dressing. Caesar opens the bag and gives it a sniff. Go ahead, taste it. If this isn't ranch, you're in a world of trouble right now. He dips his finger in the bag and gives it a taste. Oh, what the fuck? See, officer, this is obviously ranch dressing. Now will you trust me when I say I actually thought that I was picking up jalapeno poppers? I don't fucking believe this. Who the fuck goes around carrying ranch in their pants? Um, so, this is basically the deciding option whether you have sex up the butt. You need to you need to be kind of mean to him. So you're going to say, you're such a goddamn rookie, rookie. I've been on the force for six years. I'm not a fucking rookie. And again, you got to be persistent. Just keep calling him a rookie. Whatever. You don't seem that experienced to me, rookie. Oh, I've got experience. And if you call me that again, I'll show you who's a rookie. Oh my god, what are you doing with your eyebrows, you creep? He looks at you with a glint in his eye. You want to test me? You don't know what I can do to you. Oh yeah, maybe I do, Rookie. A dark look passes over his face. He pushes you towards the cruiser, opens the door and grabs something. You can't see what's in his hand. What'd you do, Rookie? Call for backup? Super swag, don't smile like that. <laughs> He's so creepy. Uh, God damn it, you little punk. Caesar grabs you by the neck, kisses your mouth roughly, and bends you over the hood. Ugh. You feel that cold, hard metal beneath your cheek as you strain against your handcuff. Is this what you want? You like testing me, you little punk? So, very obviously he is about to destroy our asshole right now, so you... Um, are gonna need to watch the not safe for work version of this because I am not posting super swags anal demolition on uh, YouTube. So I'm about to cut the video here. Don't forget to check the description for the link to the not safe for work part. Uh, I recommend watching it. It is extremely good. But in the meantime, I'll be right back. See ya. All right, so we're back. Uh, that was actually probably one of the better sex scenes in this game, in my opinion, but I might just be projecting based off of my own interests. Um, it is nice to meet a cop that actually wants to obliterate my asshole instead of, like, arresting or murdering me, so... Thumbs up. Anyway, we got a video to finish up, so let's go ahead and wrap up this date. <clears throat> Slowly, he begins buttoning up his shirt. I think you're in the clear. He uncuffs you. So am I free to go? Yeah, despite the fact that you're definitely something of a troublemaker. That I am. I'm wanted in at least ten states for sodomy. So they have been making fucking puns the entire time they have been, like, having foreplay, basically. And I'm getting a little sick of it. But, um, it is...
is cute. I can see why. I'd want you in my state for sodomy, too. Caesar grasps your head, kisses you hot in the lips, thrusting his tongue into your mouth. He kisses you hard for a full minute and gives your ass a final squeeze. Oh my. Um, he's making me blush. You feel your cock starting, starting to harden again. Stay out of trouble, punk. You pull up your jeans, bid the officer adieu, and walk back to your car. Your date has ended. So that's kind of an abrupt ending to this date a little bit, but at the same time, this was also a really different date. Like, we just kind of got... Um, we literally just got fucked in an alleyway by a police who thought that we were peddling um, cocaine um, because we had a pocket full of ranch dressing. So, I really assume that this doesn't have any way other that it could go, other than the video just ending like this. But, before I do that, I am going to show y'all an alternate scene where if you don't take the ranch dressing, he doesn't believe you, um, basically, because he has no reason to believe that you're not there to buy drugs. So, you call Ian instead, and then, well, you'll see in just a second. So, BRB, we're going to cut the video for a sec. Alright, so this is the alternate scenario that I was talking about before, where if you don't decide to take Ian's advice and you don't have the baggie of ranch dressing in your pocket, when he tries to frisk you, you get this unique dialogue tree instead. So, uh, the two options that are relevant to your interest, probably, are going to be, aren't you going to frisk my butt too? In which case, um, you get a not safe for work ending that doesn't end in sex, but it definitely is um, very inappropriate um, to put on YouTube. So check the video description for that. Um, I'll show you. It's going to be in the link to the not safe for work video, basically. In addition to that, um, you can also say, okay, I can prove to you that I'm innocent. And if you do that, you get a unique dialogue with Ian. So. <clears throat> oh yeah? How so? Do I look like someone who skulks around alleyways buying illegal poppers? I mean, pretty much the walking definition, yeah. Okay, well let's try that again. You can just ask my roommate. He knows I was going out to pick jalapeno poppers. I have an alibi. Alright, call him. What? Yeah, call him right now before I change my mind. Handshaking in anticipation, you call Ian. Ian! Yo, hey, what's up? Remember that conversation we had earlier today? We had a conversation? Oh my god, Ian. Are you high right now? Whoa, no, man. Don't, don't you remember our conversation about jalapeno poppers? No, but that sounds amazeballs. Uh, do you want to have it again? Say... You ever have poppers with ranch, my dude? Like, that is totally the best. You hang up. Uh, so... That... I found that very hilarious in my first playthrough, um, and that added to my love of Ian. I'm glad the creator of this game keeps him relevant, even when he's not, like, the... the center of your dating focus. But anyway... Oh, man, I swear. People pour ranch indiscriminately over everything these days. Yeah, I know. Are we done here? So done. And you get a non-standard game over. He fucking arrests you. <laughs> um, so he hauls you into the back seat of his cruiser. On your way to the police station, you sit and stare at the back of his buzz cut, contemplating the absurdity of the situation. After several hours in processing, you're released due to lack of evidence, and also by the fact that the police captain is already annoyed by Caesar's ridiculous sting operation. Luckily, you didn't get incarcerated. Unluckily, there went your Saturday. And your date has ended. So that is basically the alternate ending to this. So you get fucking arrested because you didn't have ranch dressing in your pocket. See, Ian knew what was up. He knew to protect you that he needed to get you to get that ranch dressing. But we didn't, so we got arrested. And we didn't get to have sex up the butt, which is sad. So... Uh, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, there is one more video of the BroFinder dates coming out. I believe the date's name is Terrence. I actually haven't experimented with that yet to see all the endings. But uh, if you follow this video, again, you'll get all the gallery pictures for Caesar. Uh, so you'll basically get both not safe for work scenes.
In any case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. Don't forget to check out my other videos too. I do have the previous coming out on top bro finder dates. In addition to that, I have a pretty swaggy LP of both Oregon Trail, which is really good. Check my uh, video page for that. And then also I have an Oracle of Seasons LP, and I'm actually working on doing a part for that right now. So in the meantime, in between time, check the top right corner for the links to my other video series. Uh, if you are on the YouTube browser, if not, well, I'm sorry, you can't, because I can't use annotations there. But, see y'all later, thanks for watching, and bye.